Da -da. It's a nice mild day today, thankfully. I've been off riding for two weeks with the virus, so this is my first time back. But today is something rather special. So I'm hoping that some of you riders out there are going to appreciate what I've been working on for quite a while now. And this is its first time out being ridden. Look at that. 1979 hand-built knight of Wolverhampton, England. R531 frame and forks, full Dura 7100. Few little things changed. Pair of wheels, because the old ones, off mega hubs on probably old Miche or uh, Mavic rims was knackered. Went to true them and spokes broke and oh, just a mess. So I put these old Cassiriums on, these elites from about 2008, which have transformed this bike, as you would expect Cassiriums to do. Seat change, just a cheap uh, San Marco Monza. Uh, everything stayed the same, apart from that. Oh, and the pedals, some PDM 600s. These are like road pedals, but they're not. They're spuds. They're okay, actually. They're quite nice. They're comfortable. The balancing is a bit weird on them, but... I uh, put some gator skins on as well. Um, didn't want to put anything too special on this, to be perfectly honest, because it's not ridden very often. It won't be ridden very often. And I really do need the puncture protection because I had to shoehorn that back wheel in. Um, it should have been um, jigged properly, really, to get that back wheel in. I've had to sort of prise it open a little bit. It should have been done cold properly, expanded out. It's probably only a few millimetres, but nevertheless, it's still stressing the hubs a little bit. But they are quite old wheel set, so... But just look at that. Just look at that, look. It's taking a bit of getting used to. I've also got to get some new hoods for it, so if any of you lot out there know what fits this, I have a feeling it's the Diacomp 202, 3 or 4, something like that. So if anybody knows which hoods fit the Dura 7100, um levers please do let me know for sure that was an old z fowl bottle cage that i i had off an old uh, retro mountain bike that i was working on and i have converted it to eight speed originally it was six so yes and that does work and it works really well that's just a cheapo shram i think it's an 11 32 i think i can't remember off the top of my head but this old Dura 7100 is handling it really, really well. And to be honest with you, I'm absolutely shocked just how well a 45-year-old bike rides. You know, we all talk about how technology has come along leaps and bounds in bikes. Well, to be perfectly honest, 45 years and that, I'm not being funny. I know it's the wheel set, really, to be fair. The wheel set, we all know, transforms a ride, and that has transformed that beyond belief. Um, yes, the brakes, they're not fantastic. They're not up to my Ultegra 8000 calipers. But you know what? They work, and they work okay. Um, the bars, they're um, SK Custom bars. They're about 37 wide. I think it's about a 160 drop, so they're quite deep. But that was this period on this bike, you know, deep drops. I've seen deeper. They're not the most comfortable. Obviously, we can't really bring the levers up much. But I think once I get some hoods on there, it's going to feel better. I have been on the, the drops. Uh, sorry, on the hoods today. It was a bit uncomfortable. Um, you know, used to ride in modern geode bikes. It's a bit of a shock. But it's a nice sort of shock. It's not like, oh my God, this is an old nail. Today's build would probably be five grand right there. In today's money, that is a hell of a bike. And believe it or not, that bike was going to the skip. Could you believe that somebody could put an R531 frame for full Durace bike in the skip? Come on. But thankfully, a friend of mine said to me, the guy's chucking the bike. He was doing a job for him. Any chance you'd like it? I do know the guy, actually. So the provenance comes of this bike. He was a retired school teacher friend of mine. And uh, he used to ride to school on this uh, most days when he was working. And uh, it's now in my hands. Lovingly cared for. 
comments and questions. I'm looking forward to them. A beautiful bit of British engineering. Everybody gets so obsessed with all these Italian, you know, boutique pot type frames, Colnagos, Bianchis, Battaglias, you, you know, Gios, the lot like that. You know what I'm talking about. But these bikes are forgotten. They're as good as. It's 531 tubing, people. Does it really get any better than that? Come on. Ride safe.